Skirt, skirt on niggas. Skirt, skirt on these bitches. Yeah. Skirt down and they do it for free. Girl, you know we wasn't more than. Yo, yo, do y'all want to know what touched this soul? That quote where they be like, you're cute with makeup, but I'm cute with blessed sex. We are not the same. We are not the same, sis, at all. We're not the same. Ooh, I felt that on a personal level. Like, deep down in here, past the boobs, right to the heart. I felt that. I felt that. Anyways, welcome back to my channel, guys. I am back with another video. Today's video, finally, I'm filming a skincare routine because I know y'all want to know. How I keep the face free of breakup and how I keep my skin very clear and manageable. I feel like everyone has flaws to their skin. However, with proper care and eating right, drinking water, etc., you can keep your skin flawless, okay? I don't care what nobody say. I feel like everybody's skin could be as clear as ever with proper care. So basically, I'm just going to be telling you guys what products I use for my face, what products I use for my skin as well. I have very bad skin. I feel like my skin is super dry, especially like my legs, like my lower legs. So I have to put extra lotion, Vaseline, coconut oil just to get this little sheen right here. You know what I'm saying? But, um... Yeah, it's just so much work keeping up with your skin. Some people don't have that issue. And they, yo, the people who don't have these issues, I really hate y'all. Because y'all don't have to go through nothing. We be sitting here buying hundreds of dollars of products just to make sure our skin and our hair and all that extra stuff is perfect. I just, you know, I can't stand y'all. Anyways, let's just get straight into the video. Okay, so here I have my shower bag. Don't mind all the stains and stuff because I have a lot of stuff inside. So sometimes they spill and everything like that. I don't know if every woman has a shower bag where you just leave your stuff in the bathroom. I have brothers, so I can't leave my stuff in the bathroom. They mess around and play with everything. Some of y'all could relate. So yeah, this is my shower bag. First, we're going to go through what I use for my face and then I'm going to go to the body. Okay, so let me just put it out there that usually I cleanse my face every night. But for the past, I want to say week and a half two weeks i haven't been cleansing my face i only been washing my face and for some reason my face has been really clear like i feel like that's what really made my face extremely clear and i was drinking water i'm not gonna say act like i wasn't drinking juice and eating fatty foods and stuff but for some reason my skin was reacting to it well so i'm guessing that contributed to how clear my skin is now so here i have the noxzema classic clean original deep cleansing cream and this is what I used to use on my face. There's no reason for why I really stopped using it. I just kind of stopped. But this really helped my face clear up. I want to say about a couple of months ago or almost a year ago. I feel like I haven't used this product. But Noxzema does the trick. What I do is I put it on my face when I because I, I cleanse my face before I get in the shower. So I will put this all over my face and I'll get in the shower. You know, I'm in it for a little minute and then I wash it. My skin will be fine. And then I just moisturize it after. My skin just does what it does. So this is very, very, very good for my skin. And the cooling sensation makes you feel like it's really working. Like your face gets to breathe. And it's like, okay, I feel very refreshed. I feel very hydrating. So this is definitely a product I would recommend for anybody breaking out. Um, as far as me having pimples, I don't remember this helping my pimples. I just remember it helping my breakouts. So I would recommend this more to people who actually like break out. And let me tell y'all something. If you're going to use this product, do not keep it on for more than 10 to like 12, maybe 15 minutes. Because it's going to, once you put it on and let it sit for a while, like while you're in the shower, it starts to burn a little bit. And not a, oh my God, it's burning my skin burn, but it's really extra fresh. It's burning. You don't want to have redness on your skin. So make sure that you leave this on and follow the directions. The directions don't really tell you how long to keep it on. But I'm just going to tell you guys. Please don't keep it on for more than 10 to 12 minutes. Because you don't want to have any redness in your skin. So this is the St. Ives Apricot Scrub. And this is what I use on my face right now. I once again do what I did with the Noxzema. I put it on my face, all my eyebrows, everything like that. And I use my Advanced Deep Cleansing Brush. And it has two speeds. And it comes with two brushes and it's waterproof. Now, when it said waterproof, I was thinking, like, isn't every cleansing brush waterproof? I'm not sure. This is the first one I ever bought, and I absolutely love it. It works great on my skin. I feel like it really cleanses and get and gets all the dirt from under my skin. On the pack, they give you, I mean, in this is actually a duo kit, and this has not only the brush and the two heads for the brush, it's the same head, and then it comes with this oil-free purifying cleanser which let me show you a picture of that so this is what the clarifying cleanser looks like i never use this i don't know how it works i might use it just to test it out for you guys but as of now i really don't know what it does it doesn't smell like anything so i'm gonna have to do an initial review on this product 
I have my own products to use, so sometimes I don't like using new products that I don't really know about. However, I'm going to try it for y'all and then I'm going to give y'all a review on how it works and everything like that. So after I wipe with my apricot scrub, I use my rose face mask and this makes my skin feel so hydrated and clean and smells so good. It actually has real rose petals in it. And I'm actually almost done. <laughs> and I got this as a sample um, in some four when I went one day. And this, I think I actually, I wonder if they have a bigger version of this. I never asked them because I never expected it to work so good. But I'm going to ask them next time. So I'm going to keep y'all updated if they have a bigger version. I'm pretty sure they do because it's a sample size. But yeah, so this is what it looks like inside. I'm going to try to zoom in because remember y'all, I'm on my phone to work with me. But this is what it looks like inside. And the consistency reminds me of, I don't even want to say jelly because it's not jelly. Very, very thin. It's like, it's, it's thin. It's not too thin. It's not too thick. It doesn't have a strong smell. It smells like an innocent rose. It has like an innocent rosy smell to it. Now I have it, I know... Now, I wonder, for the people who use the Mario Badescu, I hope I said that right, um, spray, for, I, what is it? Is it, um, I don't even know. I watch it so much. I don't know if it's, like, another, like, liquid form of a face mask. I don't know what it is. But I wonder if that's kind of the same thing. I'm going to check that out, too. I got a lot of things to look up, so bear with me. Well, sometimes I would use one of my ambi bar soaps if i'm really really breaking out because this one is for toning and i believe this one is for breakouts so i would definitely recommend these two bars of soap where, where can you get this you can get this from i got it from my hair store they had like a whole section so you could get it from the hair store you could get it from amazon eBay, you know whatever they might even sell it in walgreens or like any store like that so you should definitely check it out this little ambi soap is a bomb 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 and it's only like what like two three dollars per bar like you can't beat that one thing that you really have to remember to do after you have to moisturize as soon as you wash it off you're gonna feel your face is gonna feel tight and dry so you want to hurry up and moisturize your face so you don't start to break out and you know your skin starts to pit like you don't want none of that so make sure you moisturize as soon as you finish washing this off your face okay so now we're gonna move on to the skin this is one of my favorite i don't even want to say one of this is my favorite body wash this so this is the soft soap body scrub in the scent coconut butter and this oh my goodness i feel so melanin and lathered in freaking vanilla and coconut this smells so good and then it has little beads in it i don't want to say beads it just might be beads i'm not sure but if you was to purchase this you will see what i'm talking about you know how some body washes have um scrubbing it like actually so it was body scrub but y'all know what i mean it feels very good and it feels great on my skin and i feel my skin feels very exfoliated after this i have like three bottles over there i rent this is the only body wash i use i didn't use any other body wash besides this one and this like it makes you smell so good when you get out the shower i'm just like oh my goodness like i need to buy the whole store i need to buy this whole shelf like this this right here oh my goodness like i think we're all a sucker for good scented soaps however for the ladies i don't want to get too x-rated but you guys know not to wash you know your private areas with soap but for the outside of your body absolutely bomb like it's bomb bomb i love this soap i would probably never switch so this is going to be probably number this is going to be number one on my body scrub list so this i've been using since about last year summertime and this is the sunny yo's all natural sugar scrubs guys this product if you have dry feet or your feet get very crusty sometimes because look i'm not gonna lie to y'all my feet be crusty sometimes so i be needing it we all need like a good exfoliating scrub and it's like you know on top of the body scrub that i already use in the body wash i put this on top of it and i feel absolutely exfoliate like fully you know some i feel like I feel like being on my skin is so dry, I have to do an extra step just to make sure my skin is extra soft and clear. So, you know, so be it, it is what it is. Now, I'm going to put the link to this below. But this, I feel like I can't live without this product. I feel like my skin is not clean or clear or cleansed enough if I don't have this. So, let me try to open it. I'm running out, so just forgive me. I'm going to try to insert a video if I still could find one. So, oh, give me a second. Hmm. It smells so good. You already know what it smells like, so don't even ask me. I'm kidding. But it smells like coconut and vanilla. Like, I know I don't play that. Like, only coconut, only vanilla. Like, I don't like all the extra bubblegum. No, I don't want none of that. 
I want this fresh from the motherland. This is what it looks like inside and basically how you use it. This is also a soap as well. It's just more of a scrub than a soap. You can mix it with your body wash. And um, I, I sometimes I mix it. Actually, I do mix it with my body wash. But if I'm really looking for an extra cleanse just to make my skin extra soft, I'll mix it with my um, mix it with my body wash and then I'll take some separately like in my hand and then I'll rub it on the back of my foot or rub it on my legs. And like it may feel like it's like cutting you or something but i feel like that's what really gets all the dead skin off so it's very helpful and i love this but oh my goodness i love it i feel like i can't shower without it it's just i feel so incomplete and then right here you have this i would say is more of a soft scrub because it kind of looks it reminds me of peanut butter it reminds me like the consistency and the look of it it's peanut butter definitely but it smells like coconuts and vanilla and all that you look i'm pretty sure y'all get the point but yeah definitely smells really good and this is more of a soap so you can actually use this by itself and rub it in your um and rub it in your washcloth or your loofah or whatever and then start washing your whole body with it and it gets very soapy and everything like that i would say to use body wash with it as well just to like soften it up because it is it's very thick but i feel like it really helps as well so what i do how i use both of these products actually is i take my finger I put my leg up and I place my rag over my leg and then I take a scoop of this and I put it on my washcloth and then I rub it in just a little bit and then I take the hard raw scrub and then I put that on top of it as if I was like stacking a burger or something and then I would take my body wash and like squeeze it all over just to cover the whole layer of both of them and then I would rub it in and then I would start washing my body and I would just smell like all types of fresh natural products like it smells so good and it makes my skin feel phenomenal so i would definitely recommend this to you guys i'm gonna link everything in the bio i'm gonna put everything in the bio so you guys can find it i'm gonna put the ingredients i'm gonna put the ingredients in it as well so you guys can know what you're using because i know some people are allergic to certain things so i'm gonna make sure that you know you check the ingredients fully and make sure it's safe for all use now everybody's body is different if your skin is too extra sensitive i wouldn't recommend to use the scrub by itself because you don't want to like make your skin bleed i've never heard of that before but you know it might be people out there so you definitely want to be aware of that so another trick i do in the shower to make my skin feel extra soft and yes sometimes i have to do every single thing i just mentioned to you all at once in one shower session because sometimes i need my skin extra extra soft i take my Johnson's baby oil gel, not the thin one, the thick one. Oh, oh, the thick one. This right here, if you take it and after you wash off all your soap and everything like that, and then you put on a layer of the baby gel and you know, rub it in, everything like that. And then I usually stand under the water and let it just rinse. You know how people look at music videos when the water just looks so perfectly placed? This is the trick. So if they trying to sit here and tell you that they got perfect skin or it just looks extra sexy, no, they got on that baby oil gel. I'm telling y'all right now. Um, no, say I ain't put y'all on now. Some people might know the trick, but a lot of people don't know. So make sure you tune in. Now, some people put it on after, but see, one thing, another thing I really like about this product while putting it on in the shower, you won't have to put on any lotion because it's already thick as it is. So once you step out and dry your skin and everything like that, you can literally just glide your hand across your skin and it feels absolutely so for those who don't like to sit there and actually lotion their whole body for like five minutes if you are one of those people make sure you use this baby oil you gel in the shower thank me later so another form of moisturizer that really helps my skin is the user now i bought the eczema relief by accident i don't have eczema however my best friend had the same thing but i didn't read the bottle so i kind of just bought this one and it actually really helps my skin for some reason I tend to buy eczema relief products because I feel like my skin is extra dry. It's not eczema dry, but I'm maybe I'm dragging it. Whatever. I feel like this makes my skin extra soft. It's very rich. It's very thick. I also purchased the Eucerin in Advanced Repair. And me and my best friend actually swapped that out because she had this one. This is the Eucerin Original Healing. But this cream is so thick. I thought I was that dry. Like That's how dry I feel like my skin is. This reminds me of cocoa butter, but maybe a little bit creamier, but this is very thick. Like, you're going to have to work it in your skin, but it definitely does the job and it gets it done right. Especially if you want to put it on your face and you don't want your face to be too oily. You take some of this, rub it in your hands, because you got to warm it up. You put it straight on your face, you're going to have a white patch for a little minute. 
But if you take it, warm it up, rub it in your hands, and then put it on your face, flawless. Like, your skin is going to feel amazing. So I absolutely love this. But if you would rather a not-so-thick peanut buttery cream, then I'll definitely recommend the Advanced Repair because it's more on the, the thick but not butter side, if you guys understand what I'm saying. So, I had to get on a wave and see what the hype was about. So, a couple of months ago, I purchased the 100% extra virgin organic coconut oil. And honestly, guys, maybe I didn't buy the right one. I don't really see what the hype is about. Because all these other products that I use, I feel like they help my skin more so. I haven't eaten it. I haven't used it in my hair or nothing. I haven't put it on my eyebrows because, you know, whatever. But I still do put it on my skin to leave an extra shine. If I want my face to look a little bit more hydrating and more glowy, I would use a little bit of um, coconut oil. And I'm a new user of coconut oil, so I didn't know that you have to keep it in a certain temperature to keep it either like a pasty cream or like an actual liquid. So half is liquid and half is solid, whatever that's about. And yeah, I mean... It smells good. I don't really see the hype. So if I didn't get the right one or you guys know a better one, please leave it down in the comments. I would love to find out if I could find a better one. But this is, it's like, it's like baby oil. Like, it's just, it's just liquidy and it's shiny. Like, that's all it really does for me to keep it above with y'all. I don't know. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I use for my face and for my skin. As far as progress, I have seen a big improvement in my skin and in my face over the last few months when I've been using these couple of products and I think that the brush really helps. Sometimes you don't feel like washing your face with an actual rag and getting all in there besides like in the morning and stuff. Sometimes you really want to actually cleanse especially for my heavy makeup wears you want to make sure you get deep in those pores. So a wash rag only wipes the surface unless you're really like rubbing in your skin. But I think an actual brush is a great investment especially a rotating brush because it can actually rotate while you're wiping. I'm pretty sure that improves the amount of dirt that's going to come out your skin. Whatever. Personal opinion. So this is product. And I've been seeing everybody raving about it. And I'm like, alright, let me just see what the hype is about. Like, let me see what's up with this. Now, before I show y'all, I'm going to tell y'all, please forgive me. Do not curse me out. I tried it off camera because I wanted to hurry up and put my new wig on. So I had to treat my hair real quick, etc. I used the Indian clay mask on my hair mixed with the apple cider vinegar. Hold on. Y'all, this duo right here ain't no joke. I am in the transitioning stage of my hair, and I feel like I've never seen my, like, I feel like my whole life I've never seen my natural hair pattern because I've always had, like, a weave or something or braids or whatever the case may be. I never really wore my hair around like, those cute little furs, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to definitely insert a picture of that, too, so y'all can see what I'm talking about. I'm so sorry I didn't try it out on camera, but guess what? I'm going to do it again for y'all, and I'm going to make sure I record it so y'all can see that this stuff ain't no joke. Now, I also heard that this was good for your skin, well, mostly for your face, but, like, redness, breaking out, acne. I heard the whole shebang, like, the whole thing. I'm going to try it for my face. I've never tried it for my face before, but this stuff so far for my hair gold like holy grail actually i've never seen a product work so great for my hair i feel like for all of us women who are transitioning we spend so much money on natural hair products you know trying to make our hair grow trimming everything like that this stuff is the goods and i'm gonna make sure that all my transitioning girls that's watching this that didn't try this i'm gonna make sure y'all buy it so make sure if y'all tell me y'all thinking about it i'm gonna tell you to buy it you tell me, oh, I was going to buy it. Don't ask no questions. You just buy it. I wouldn't recommend y'all to nothing that does not work. So make sure y'all go and cop this. I'm also going to try it for my face. I'm also going to try it for my face. So we're going to see how much it gradually improves my face over time. Now, nothing is really wrong with my face. But I still would like to know what it could possibly help. You never know. Like, you, you really never know. Maybe I also want to try some tea tree oil. I heard that helped instantly cure acne sometimes i get pimples randomly a lot i get pimples a lot on my chin i get pimples on my forehead a lot 
sometimes I get pimples over here. I remember I got a pimple on my nose one time. I did not understand it. I'm like, really? On my nose? Like, are you serious? I was so pissed off. But, you know, I get pimples in the weirdest spots. So I'm going to try tea tree oil. I heard it really works. I'm not sure where to get it from. I'm actually good for I've seen a lot in my local beauty supply store, but I'm not sure if they're too safe. So I don't want to just buy it just because it's there. So if you guys could recommend a great tea tree oil and where I can get it from for a good price, make sure you comment that down below because I would love to try it. And yeah. So overall, I don't plan on changing my skincare routine. I don't plan on changing my body washes or anything like that. But so far, everything has been working beautifully for me and I've been loving every single bit of it. Now, everybody's skin is different from face and skin is different. So what works for me may not work for you. So just remember to properly read the instructions and properly read the ingredients because I really don't want one of y'all using what I just told y'all. Now y'all allergic breaking out, face bumping, and getting all crazy like Martin when he got beat up in the rain that time. I don't need it. You're not about to blame me for that. So make sure you read. I'm, I'm, look, do not come to me with no lawsuit like this girl told me to use it. I use it. Now my face is ugly. I'm not doing it. Martin or Gina, I'm not. Don't do it. And if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, y'all already know what I'm going to do. Look. So anyways, it is 5.16 in the morning. And I do have to go to bed. I have school in a few hours. So thank you guys for watching my video. I just love you guys. I hate to get emotional. But I just want to take a second out to tell y'all how much I appreciate y'all. I love the comments. I love the DMs. I love all the private messages that you guys send me. It just makes my day. It makes me so happy. And I know a lot of YouTubers say that, like, oh my god, I just love you so much. Da, 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 da. Look, I'm being so serious. Like, sometimes we have our down moments. Sometimes we all go through things. And I feel like y'all really help me. Like, y'all really help brighten up my day. And I appreciate every single one of y'all for being on this channel journey with me. Now, I still am a new YouTuber, but I don't even care about being a big YouTuber or just starting and being an extra small YouTuber, whatever. I just love doing this for y'all. I love doing this for me. This is actually me. This is what I do anyway. So, if I couldn't post it to YouTube, I probably would have posted it somewhere else. Like, this is what I do. So, I'm just happy that you guys enjoy watching me being myself. And it just makes me feel so appreciative and so thankful. So once again, thank you so much for supporting me. And if you are a new subscriber, welcome to the family. And if you're thinking about subscribing, I hope you're subscribed by now. You already know to click that notification bell if it's not already on. Like, let's get, let's get in tune. Let's be notified, okay? Also, I want to give a big shout out to my girl Kate for body and my individual lashes. My company is called Blink and Mink. She's located in Queens, New York. And she is absolutely phenomenal when it comes up to individual lashes and in new york city we don't have that many great lash checks like it's very 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 hard to find but she's definitely worth it she makes sure she washes your lashes she makes sure she tells you how to keep up with them she repairs old lashes from old lash checks that may have messed up or did a poor job she does um she does fillings, everything. She does it all. She does skincare. She does waxes. She does facials. She does it all. So shout out to Kay for doing your thing. You are popping, girl. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day or a great night or a great afternoon. Whatever time you're watching this video. I'm going to catch you guys in my next video. Bye.